Although Mexican lawmakers have postponed the decision on the water bill that would privatize the distribution and administration of the basic resource, there is growing anger, especially in the capital, where residents have suffered years of with little to no water. Our correspondent in Mexico gives us more. Here in the working class Mexico City borough of Iztapalapa, residents have grown accustomed to sporadic water cuts. For more than 10 years, they've seen their taps go dry almost on a daily basis. There is only water at night, at dawn, at like 3 a.m. to 7 a.m., and then there's no more water. When the water does begin to flow in the city's largest neighborhood, the quality is often questionable, forcing an estimated 625,000 residents to buy the liquid bottled at nearly $2 or invent novel ways to filter. When a lot of water begins to come out, it comes out very dirty, very dirty. And so we need to find ways to filter it so that we can use it. However, city engineers and experts from Mexico's National Autonomous University, or UNAM, have launched a well project that will explore and extract the highly precious liquid from a deep underground aquifer. It's the pilot, but if the project is to continue, we will need to drill 30 more wells at a depth of 2,000 meters so as to determine the features of this aquifer. We need to have wells in the city's 16 boroughs. As experts and residents struggle to overcome the water crisis affecting more than 21 million people, lawmakers of the ruling Institutional Revolutionary Party, or PRI, have ruffled feathers by proposing legislation that seeks to privatize the administration and distribution of the basic necessity. There are no grays or shades. We propose water for all, water for life, and the other side proposes water for profit. Although the legislation has been stalled in Congress, protest and opposition continues to grow, expressing fear that lawmakers will hand over the scarce resource to private mining and energy companies. Clayton Khan, Telesur, Mexico City.